All right, what's up everybody? So before we jump into the video, let me first start off by apologizing and real fast, let me explain why I haven't been posting as much as you guys are used to seeing me. Uh, if you guys have been around for some time now, I've been very, very consistent uploading anywhere from two, three, four times even a week. And no, I haven't lost the passion. I'm still very passionate about this stuff. I enjoy doing audio and especially helping you guys out. It really does make my day knowing that these videos have helped you uh, either motivate, influence you to go out and start recording or all around have just helped you in your audio endeavors. Uh, that type of stuff is something that really keeps me going and honestly drives me. That's something that motivates me to uh, come in here and sit down and make these videos to begin with. If nobody watched them, I wouldn't even make them. So the fact that there's people that are actually willing to dedicate their time and uh, support me, that's something that's very, very important to me. It's very special to me. So I've just been busy with just life in general, uh, working a ton with my day job. And, uh, you know, I wish YouTube paid the bills because if it did, honestly, like you have no idea how much how much fun this is for me to be able to sit down and record videos and everything. And if I could be doing this for a living, I absolutely would. But, you know, life is, is, is in the way. I can't just come and sit down and make videos 24-7. It's just not possible. And uh, especially as of recently, I've just been very, very busy. So... I still want to keep this going. Obviously, I love doing this stuff. And I know you guys are, uh, you guys have been very supportive even while I've been away. And I don't want to just like give up on you guys like that. So I'm, I'm still going to be going, uh, uploading as much as I possibly can. If that's only once a week, every two weeks or whatever that might be, uh, you know, we'll get through it and eventually I will be able to post more than I would like to. Uh, but for right now, you know, I'm going to try my best to be able to, uh, dedicate some time to come sit in here and make some videos for you guys. Uh, one thing I want to know if you guys can do this for me is just in the comment section, let me know what you guys want to see in particular. Um, I, I made a poll the other day and a lot of you guys had voted on wanting to see more analog videos, uh, stuff involving my rack equipment that I have here. And that's a really good way for me to uh, be able to jot together some ideas for uh, the, the content that you guys are going to end up getting. So just let me know in the comment section, what kind of videos do you want to see? Do you want to see more videos with the SM7B, uh, more videos with the MPA2, uh, my 266XS compressor TLM103? You guys let me know what you want to see. You guys dictate the content on this channel. So if you could do that for me, that'd be very helpful. And we're going to try to keep this thing going strong. And yeah, I just want to thank you guys seriously so much for uh, still sticking around even during my absence and just being very, very supportive of the channel. It really does mean a lot to me, so I very, very much appreciate it. So like I said, I had made a poll the other day and I asked you guys what kind of content you wanted to see in particular, and a lot of you guys had voted on more analog videos. You guys wanted to see more videos involving my rack equipment that I have. So with that being said, I am going to make a video kind of just going over what my analog setup has been for these last couple months. What have I been using the most in my setup and what have I gotten the best results with? Which equipment paired together has worked very well for me? Uh, specifically with the SM7B, however, any microphone you have obviously will work with any of this gear, but I've been using the SM7B a lot recently, and this is just the equipment that I have been using uh, together. These two pieces of gear here, which I'm going to uh, jump into in more depth, uh, these two pieces of gear have been ones that I haven't uh, been able to record not using. I've been using them every single time, and uh, I thoroughly enjoy the results that I've been getting out of uh, this setup that I'm currently running right now. Now I really don't need to even get into this because you guys have probably seen all the videos that I've done on the Art Pro MPA2, but it is still to this day held up as one of my favorite preamps that I have ever used. I use this thing every single time I record, uh, even when I'm not using the SM7B, when I'm using the TLM103 in my booth, I will run that into the Art Pro MPA2. I just really like the warmth that I've been able to get out of this thing. It just sounds it sounds amazing combined with the SM7B and the fact that I don't have to go out and buy a cloud lifter or a FET head because it supplies enough gain, uh, that's just something that's so invaluable. I've been using it every single time with my SM7B and not to mention the variable impedance on this unit 
just makes it so unique. The fact that I can I can completely change the tone of it by just turning the impedance. So if I wanted the mic to sound darker, I could. However, with the SM7B, because it is a naturally darker microphone, I have been just running it on the highest impedance settings. This setup has been perfect. Now, if I'm not running it into the 266XS, I will then just run it into the Apollo Solo. But with the 266XS from DBX, it's just a match made in heaven. The two combined together are just perfect. Uh, the 266 XS, for anybody who doesn't know what it is, it is a compressor, plain and simple. It's just a compressor, and I believe it has, well, yeah, an expander gate on there as well. So you can kind of cut out some of that background hissing and uh, humming sounds that inherently come with the SM7B because it's such a quiet microphone and you have to drive it harder than you would on a typical condenser microphone. So with the expander gate on here, I can kind of eliminate that hissing sound. It's very, very faint anyway when you're running it with the MPA2. But that little hiss that's there, I can completely get rid of it. And it has a compressor on here, which has so many different settings. So I can run anything from a 2 to 1 to a 4 to 1, 12 to 1, or even infinity if that was something I chose to do. However, for vocals, if I'm sitting down just doing a video like right now, I would usually just leave it on a 4 to 1 ratio. Ratio. So this setup has been what I've been using with the SM7B every single time. Every time I've came in here to sit down and record something, um, when to record a video even prior before my absence, I was using this setup. Uh, this is something I could personally never get rid of. I, I couldn't see myself getting rid, rid of either the MPA2 or the 266XS because they're just pieces that, you know, they just gel so well with the SM7B in particular. So what I'm gonna do so that you can just hear for yourself what the 266XS is doing, I'm going to bypass it and then bring it back in so that you guys can just hear what it's doing to my vocals right now. And you guys will be able to hear it. It's very, very drastic. So let's go ahead and start. Let's just bypass it and then I will uh, just speak and let you guys listen to the differences. So this is with it bypassed. It's going to probably sound a little bit more quiet, I would think. Um, this is not using the compressor, and when I am using it, I do have it on a four to one, so it is a little bit heavier of a compression. Uh, typically, I would use maybe like a two to one, but for this video, I'm gonna be using a uh, four to one ratio. So let's go ahead and bring it back in. And then this is what it sounds like when the compressor is on. You should be able to hear a noticeable difference between when it is turned on and when it is turned off. I just feel like it makes it more uh, stick out and, and just a bit more in your face sounding, uh, you know, to put it in layman's terms. It's kind of what this compressor is doing. And then not to mention the gate that's on this, on this unit is just perfect for erasing any of that humming sound uh, that could be picked up just from the mic being such a silent microphone, such a quiet microphone that it requires more gain than a traditional condenser microphone. So yeah, this has been my current setup that I've been using, my analog setup for doing these videos, recording vocals, anything to do with the SM7B. I have just been using this setup, or I guess I should say these two pieces of gear in tandem, and I've been very, very impressed with the results that I've been able to get out of this setup. Um, Easily, I'm at this point in my life where I'm getting the best best vocals, best quality I've ever gotten with my uh, current setup. And, you know, these are two things that I couldn't see myself ever getting rid of. I could get rid of other pieces in the studio, but these are two things I personally don't think I could ever get rid of because they're just so invaluable. They're just a perfect match made in heaven. So yeah, guys, I just want to bring you a quick video going over my current analog setup, what I have been using every time I've came in here to uh, sit down to record some vocals or uh, record a YouTube video. This is just something that I have been using every single time. And uh, if you're somebody who has an SM7B and you really want to get the most out of that microphone, you're just kind of uh, tired of the same old results you've been getting. This is a very, very solid setup. And both these pieces of gear, when you buy them used, are very affordable. I know the 266XS, you can actually get these things for like well under $100 used on eBay. So, um, and, and the MPA2 again is another very affordable piece of gear. Uh, this is just something that you can use with, you know, even if you didn't have an SM7B, a TLM-103, that's something that is just perfect with this equipment. Any microphone that you're using is going to absolutely shine on this setup in particular. So that is going to wrap it up. If you haven't already yet, be sure 
sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon beside it so that you can stay notified for whenever I drop any of my upcoming videos. With that being said, I will see you all in my next video. Take care, everybody. Peace out.